So today, on Garden Fork, homemade chalkboard paint. Let's try this, see what happens. Make, stick, grow, cook. Garden Fork. The camera operator loves chalkboard paint just on the wall. And you know, there's little little quotes and stuff. And, and I got a bunch of scrap wood and I thought, you know, I gotta stay inside. We gotta, it's winter, it's snowing, and I gotta think of stuff to do in the shop. So let's make some more of these chalkboardy things. But instead of that expensive chalkboard paint, you and I are gonna make chalkboard paint. There's a table saw under there, but you just clean up a little bit of the area and get paint and non-sanded grout. I've never used this before. It's used for tile. You can buy this in almost any hardware store. But these two things, a little bit of water and a brush, chalkboard. This paint has been sitting around for a while, so paint needs to be shaken really well. You have um, the solid settle to the bottom, so I actually like to shake them like this. Make sure you got that lid on tight. Oh, hold on. Use what you got for sticks, but bring the bottom to the top. You can see there that's the solids. We're bringing them from the bottom to the top. Here's the recipe. It's by the cup. This is from my friend Eric at the rootsimple.com blog. Really brilliant. Um, one cup of latex paint, one tablespoon of water, two tablespoons of unsanded grout. How do you measure a cup of paint? You don't want to ruin your baking measuring cups, right? I have an answer. I'm going to want to make two cups of oh, chalkboard paint. So what I did was I got two cups of water and I'm gonna pour it into a yogurt container. And then I'm gonna mark that. That's two cups. This is our well-mixed black paint. I'm wondering if you can get a smaller box of this, but this is what they had, so this is what we got. Tablespoon measure I stole from our coffee machine. Don't tell anyone, okay? This has kind of a clay-like, powdered clay. It's almost like talcum powder. Or like cornstarch. Hmm. Two tablespoons per cup, and this is two cups, so we want four. And then for each cup of paint, we want a tablespoon of water. All right, now we mix. Um, I mean, I know in the show, a lot of times I, I'm like, this is kind of like watching paint dry, and this is, so I don't think you need to watch me uh, mix paint. <laughs> Very exciting. Hey you, what you doing? Oh, are you taking a nap? Isn't that kind of what you do all day anyway? I think that addition of the water is a key thing. It, um, cause adding in that much of the unsanded grout into thick paint. Ooh, there's a big lump there I gotta fix. Um, let's talk about what we wanna do with this. I had an idea for kind of a big chalkboard like our previous project, and then maybe some more neat little chalkboards, just on some scrap wood. And I happen to be a scrap wood hoarder. This is the smaller scrap pile, and then the larger one is... Okay. Sap, maple syrup equipment, and the wood's over there. It just occurred to me, if, if you're using a can of black paint that um, isn't brand new, in other words, you've used it for something else, you could you could just mix everything right in here. Um, maybe kind of guesstimate how many cups of paint are left and then add in the unsanded grout and some water. I just thought of that. But, all right. I'm gonna cut a little more water into here 
It's just, that's like milkshake thick. This is a, it's a stair tread. Um, I think it's pine, I don't think it's oak. But um, a little clean up. And um, I think this will make kind of a nice horizontal, simple chalkboard. I'm gonna put a little bit of a border on it. And I don't have any of that blue tape, so we're gonna, Garden Fork's all about use what you got. You know what we got? Cheap duct tape. That'll work, maybe. Will this work? I think it'll be fine, but stick around to the end because we have to paint it, let it dry, and do the chalk, the actual chalking of the chalkboard with some cool phrase that you and I are gonna think up, right? Okay, let's go. Okay, that, I'm gonna add more water. Getting the water to mix in with this takes longer than you think, so just work at it. Okay, that's still pretty darn thick, but I'm gonna go with that, all right? This is going on really easily. I'm wondering, um, I'm using a chip brush, but could you use a, a paint roller? How would that work? I mean, this has lines in it from the brush. What if we used a roller? I have another stair tread, and this is called a mini roller. By the way, these are great for painting. And um, this has a little hole in the board. I'm completely fine with that. That's what I call a happy accident. But Let's roll this one and see the textural difference. We'll let them dry overnight and then take a look. This is also, I think the clay just thickens it up. So I'm gonna add a little more water to make it rollable. I'm not gonna mask this one. I'm gonna, I kinda like the, well, you know, that haphazard Eric look, but I'm gonna just kinda make my own little rectangle. And I like the rough, not everything has to be pristine and sharp edged in my life, so here we go. Okay, a um, little bit of a sinkhole there, but we'll deal with that. Pro tip, so how do you save this roller? Because we may want to do a second coat or work on some more later. I have a whole video about um, painting tips and tricks. Here's one. Take your roller. Roll it up, and then halfway through, fold these over and finish rolling. There you go. That'll last till tomorrow now. Oh, look at it, it's kind of a ragged oh, edge. We can't see. Oh, I like it. <laughs> We're gonna have to like it because... That's what we got. <laughs> oh, I like that. This one I used the paint roller on. Is this a blooper? <laughs> and, uh... and this one I used the brush on. And this is smoother than the paint roller one but they both have kind of a rough edge. So now for the final part, the testing, let's test this out and see how it works. You have chalk? She's very excited about chalk, I guess. <laughs> is it edible? <laughs> chalk ready? Labrador hair is already covering this. <laughs> so. Get the roller out. Cool is that? You and I, you and I and Charlie Pup just made this. And if I can do this, you can do this. If you want to see the other video I made that kind of nice cool chalkboard thing, there'll be some other projects. There'll be a Labrador in your way, right here. This is a video all about that, all right? You my next video, I'll see you there.